The seed for the script was likely planted when the playwright was just a little girl growing up in Milwaukee. Our play is set in 1957. It's inspired by a tight-knit neighborhood in her hometown in its heyday. This truly was a journey. There were so many wonderful, juicy, great stories that just begged to be told. Welcome to Bronzeville takes its audience and cast, including so many talented kids from first stage, on a trip back to a bitter but sweet time. My memories are of a Milwaukee that was full of the arts. In writing the story, Sherry Williams Pinnell has drawn a bit from her own childhood, living just outside the outskirts of Bronzeville, bounded by Juno, Brown, 3rd and 12th Streets. You shop in the store that was owned by your neighbor. You uh, went out for entertainment on Walnut Street, which had the Regal Theater. The backdrop and the backbone of her play heralds larger-than-life portraits of real people growing up here, elders who shared their stories with Sherry and shaped her plot. We look at the fact that the reason the community was so successful is because it was segregated. You are Billy Holiday! Big stars would come up from Chicago to perform and stay in private homes. Hotels were off limits. The stricter times are not lost on one of the young actors playing a son considering his future. Back then you had to say yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. It was really strict and you had to do this or, or else you're going to get whooped basically. Actually I'd never heard of Bronzeville up until uh, we started doing reading of the show. Lene says she never imagined Milwaukee like this. I think it was still kind of a, a hard time for African Americans still, even though we had Bronzeville. So I don't think I would necessarily want to go back, but I do love the music. When I'm ready to down. My hope is that it will inspire. They have a, a history and they have a community that is willing to invest in you through the telling of these stories. WISN 12 celebrates black history, brought to you by U.S. Bank.